Hello everyone and welcome to this another episode of 3D Prototyping in Unity. My name is Kasanis. In the last episode, we made our we made our obstacles be able to damage our player, and the code we wrote will be able to be used on anything else that we want to damage our player as well. Uh, fire, for example, or you know whatever, lightning, or uh, an enemy, anything like that that we end up building in this game, we'll be able to use that exact same stuff, the enemy damage as well as the enemy health script, uh, to be able to damage our player. So that's great. In today's episode, I want to take a look at something that uh, that some of you have been asking about currently the the player can run off the side of a screen and he just falls forever and that is not what we want so in today's episode guys we're going to take care of cleaning that up let's get started okay guys so if we take a look at something here i'm just going to turn off maximize on play and I'm going to hit play. So currently, we can see our player standing there, and we can see what's happening over here. Um, right now, we've got ourselves a soldier. And let's jump over this guy, and let's look down here. And let's run, and when we fall off the edge, our player will fall forever. And you can see that our, our camera is doing its best to try and keep up with our player, and it just can't do it, all right? The player is still over here. We just fall forever. And that's not what we want to happen. What we actually want to happen is when the player falls off the edge of a screen, we want the player to be destroyed in the game to restart. Now we're not going to take a look at restarting the game or anything else right now, the game over GUIs or anything else right now. The only thing we're going to take a look at in this episode is actually destroying the player. Alright, so what I want you guys to do is I want you to create a brand new, create a brand new game object, create empty, uh, and let's just call this thing here uh, game cleaner, cleaner. All right, the game cleaner, and and I don't. There's, this is not going to be much to this at all. Let's reset it right now, so it's at zero. Uh, and all I want to add to this, I'm going to add a component, and I'm going to add a, a physics box collider. And we're going to make this box collider a little bit larger. Let's make it uh, ten uh, by let's say three uh, by ten. All right, and that's going to give us a nice big square, just like that. And basically, all I want to do is I want to I want to have when anything falls inside of this, so I want it to be a trigger. Whenever anything falls inside of it, I want it I want that thing to be destroyed. Okay. Uh, in some situations where it's like a, you know one of these boxes, we created these boxes last time. Whenever a box falls in uh, or off the screen, because our boxes that we created in a few episodes ago are actually rigid bodies, and they can be affected by physics and explosions or anything else. Um, if the box falls off the screen, uh, I want it to uh, to be destroyed. And same with the player. Whenever the player falls off the side of the screen, I want it to be destroyed. So what we're going to do is we are going to actually add a a new component. Uh, add a component, uh, a new script that we're going to call. Uh, let's just call it uh, cleaner. It doesn't really matter what you call it. We'll call it cleaner. And cleaner, let's open it up. Bam, bam. Um, cleaner is going to basically do exactly what I said. Uh, destroy anything that falls inside of it. So we don't really need anything in the start. We don't need to, We don't even need anything as far as uh, any kind of variables are concerned. All we really need is an on. Uh, this is a this is a void function. A void on trigger uh, enter. We'll do it as soon as it enters, all right? On trigger enter. And once again, our on trigger, just like before, our on trigger takes one variable, a collider, uh, that we'll call other. Now, depending on what the other is, we might want to do something different to it. Um, currently, uh, we know that our player can fall off the edge. So if, uh, if our other dot tag uh, equals quotations player, so that's how we're going to, oops, spell it right though. Spell it right, Kasanis. If our actual other tag is equal to player, then we know it's our actual player that fell in here, right? Because there's only one thing in the scene that is tagged with player, and that is our actual player character. If uh, that falls in here, what do we want to do? Um, the first thing we want to do is we want to uh, determine. Uh, we want. We actually want to use our. Let's let's open this up. I don't know why this keeps opening this up. Um, let's open up our on our player soldier on our soldier. Let's open up our health script, uh, player health. Let's open that up as well. So if we take a look at this right here, uh, our player health script, we already we already have a, a public function called make dead. So basically, we want access to that make dead. All right. Uh, let's go back to our our cleaner. Uh, so if we want that, first of all, we have to have access to the player health script. Um, so let's say player health health. Uh, this is going to be a player health, so we're actually making a reference to our actual player health. And let's call it player, um, I don't know, let's play it uh, falls. Oh, I hit the wrong button. 
player falls. Falls. Oh my god, I can't type anything today. Let's call it player falls, or let's call it player dead. Why are you open window? Close. Thank you. Let's call it player dead. Um, okay, so that's going to be equal to uh, other dot game object, because we're looking at the actual game object, and then we're going to get the component. Get component. Because uh, that's where it's, it's located on our top level on our game object. Get component uh, player health. All right, and this will give us access to the player health script commands or, or functions. In our case, we only want, uh, this is called player dead, player dead dot. We only want to use the, and I forgot to make this bigger. I keep forgetting, guys, view. Let me zoom in, view, zoom in. I know a lot of you guys are saying, I can't see your code. I can't see your code. I can't see what that is. And you know, code is an exact science. <laughs> you can't be you know, kind of close in the code. You got to be exactly uh, make dead. All right, so um, hopefully you guys can see that now. Uh, so that's basically what we want to do if it's the player. We basically want to, first of all, if it is a player, we want to get the player health, uh, the player health script, which is this guy, and we want to call the public function make dead. And our, our public function make dead simply instantiates the death effects and it destroys the game object itself. So that's great. But what if it's not the player? If it's not the player, we want to else. We don't even, I don't even think we care what it's going to be. Later on, we can, we can write in some uh, additional things if we want to do something special with, I don't know, zombies or whatever, whatever we're going to do. Uh, but in the case of like a box or whatever, anything else at all, we don't really care what it is. All we want to do is destroy uh, the game object that falls in here. That's all we really want to do. Destroy the game object itself. All right, so let's save this. File save. And that's all we really need to do uh, on this function. That's all we really need to do right now. Uh, so let's close this off for now. Now, let's go back to our game cleaner. The game cleaner itself, we don't want sitting right here. We obviously want the game cleaner to be sitting, you know, somewhere else. Let's say here. Somewhere else, right? Uh, let's say like this. Somewhere below where the character is going to fall. The camera itself is going to follow it. Uh, we really want it to be you know, where the character is going to land in it. That's pretty good. So basically now, if I hit play, I should be able to jump over this, jump. I should be able to run and fall in here and boom, die. Perfect. That's exactly what we want to happen. That's exactly what we want to happen. Now we're going to need a number of these. So we might as well add a couple other things here to make sure this is nice and neat and clean. Uh, let's go in here. First of all, let, let's drag this thing here. Let's go to our prefabs. Let's drag our game cleaner into our prefab. So there we go. We can constantly use our game cleaner. Um, let's go in here and let's add, let, and we can delete it out of here for now. I'll just delete it out for now. Uh, let's go in here and say create, and we're going to create a empty child or an empty object, excuse me. And let's call this thing here the game man manager. All right, this is going to be our game manager, and ultimately we're going to we're going to use this for a variety of different things. I'm going to reset it to zero 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 for now. Um, we're going to use it for a variety of different things. There's not going to be anything that's really visible inside the game manager, so it doesn't matter where you put it uh, on the on the, uh, on the screen. Actually, let's call it Game Controller, just so we know what it is. Game Manager, Game Controller, doesn't really matter, but Controller. Controller. All right, let's call it the Game Controller. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, so the Game Controller uh, is going to be responsible for a variety of different things later on. Uh, for now, all I want to do is use it as a pooling point for each of our game cleaners. Uh, and that's all I'm going to really do with it right now. We're just going to leave it in place. It's not going to have anything visible with inside of it, so I'm not even going to really worry about it. Later on, we'll add a few different scripts to our game controller as well as uh, an audio source and that kind of thing, but that's in a future episode. So for now, guys, all I want to do is I'm going to drag and drop a game cleaner onto the screen. Um, let's reset this. Oh my god, I'm having a click problem today. Zero, zero, and zero. And let's just put this where we think it should go. Let's say... Uh, Let's say, let's say right about there, and like this. All right, so right about there. Let's actually put it underneath. Let's put it underneath right there, so our character can fall a little ways down. And we'll overlap it a bit just in case. All right, just like that. Now, obviously, we need more than one. I'm going to take this game cleaner, original one. I'm going to drag it, and I'm going to drop it on my game controller. I'm going to grab another game cleaner. I'm going to pop it into place, and I'm going to put it back at zero, zero, zero as well. Zero. 0 and 0, and I'm going to drag it into place as well. Bam, bam, and let's put it back to this location. It doesn't really matter where these things go. 
uh, as long as you're able to catch your character. All right, with those things in place, guys, and drag this and drop it. Game cleaner, drag it and drop it. With those two things in place, guys, we are able to clean up in case anything falls into our actual scene. All right, guys, that's the end of this episode. That's all we're really going to do in this episode. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know with a thumbs up. If not, a thumbs down is perfectly fine. All right, I love to hear from you guys. Lots of comments down below. Thumbs up, thumbs down, comments down below. And if you haven't done so, please take a few seconds to subscribe. Have yourselves a wonderful day, everyone.